from the glam to horrifying, anything goes when it comes to your Halloween look, yet how can you recreate that perfect makeup look that complements your costume? We're being joined by owner and head makeup artist at Platinum Imagination, Angelique River. She's here along with her models, Summer Anderson and Amy Heinrichs, to show us how to create a spellbinding Halloween look with just a few simple steps. The best part? You may already have what you need sitting in your makeup bag. Welcome. Thank you. I do always love that you tend to use a lot of products from your makeup bag. Mm -hmm. So you're not really going out and buying a lot of new things, but nope. maybe some extra sparkles maybe and some, some glitter. Extras. Yeah, there's a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about some of the different looks you have here and what kind of your tips are for taking them up a notch. Okay, so this is Amy and we did like a scary like scarecrow on her. Um, main thing that makes us like stand out a little bit more are the details. So okay. you always want to try to do a little bit more detail work, a little shading, a little contour, highlighting, because that really helps the makeup like pop off. So it's not quite so flat on the skin. And so with hers, we did, I did like an undertone of like some dark brown and then I did some oranges and then you always want to build like from your um, from your light to your, like your dark in there because that's a lot easier to do it that way than to start with your dark and then build backwards. Okay. Um, and so then I went in there with like the black for the threading and then I went over the top of them with a little bit of white because that just kind of helps pop them out and makes them seem a little bit more realistic that way. Now in terms so. of the products, are you using things out of our makeup bag? Is that some, I mean, I th I'm thinking I've got eyeshadow that color, yes. I've got eyeliner, okay. Yes. Yeah, so totally, you just use, like I use regular like eyeshadow just around and through here and then regular eyeshadow around her eyes and then a black eyeliner pencil. So pretty much all of us have some, you know, something similar to that right. in our makeup bags. And then um, you can use like a black eyeliner pencil to do the threading with this. I actually use a little bit, um, something that's a little bit more pro, but it, yeah. um, it's just a little bit more acrylic so it stays a little bit longer um, for the actual face. So that helps a little bit, but Let's yeah. talk a little bit about the glow in the dark potential here yes. too. I mean, we can't show it here, yes. but tell me about that. Yeah, so this would even come up even further and it would be even more spectacular if you did like an underbase of like the glow in the dark makeup first and then put everything up on top of it. Because so with that, because you have some here, yes. when you put it on, is it basically translucent and then you put all the makeup over it or yes. when I see it? Yeah, okay. so it is, you know, it is kind of white, so it will make it kind of ghosty, okay. but then you would just powder over the top of it and then you could build everything on top of this. But it would definitely help give you that, that, spooky. that spooky factor as, you know, as you go into the late night when you're underneath the lights, if you're dancing or if you happen to be just out trick-or-treating or whatever, so yeah. Yeah, super fun. Okay, now let's talk about, are we doing like, is this Cleopatra? This is kind of Cleopatra, okay. yeah. <laughs> What are the keys to this? So um, we went ahead and did so because she's got the metallic in through there. So I went in with like a metallic like lip color and that's they do have some products like that. You can probably find them like in your local like Halloween shop. Um, this one again is a little bit more pro related, but it, it does give you that liquid metallic kind of type look. And so since, you know, Nefertiti and, and Cleopatra always was all about the glitz and the glamour mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, yeah, so we went in there with like the metallic gold and then I did a couple of little rhinestones in there and then and also too like with a little bit of that gold fleck of the um of the glitter and it all the different layers of that again help elevate the makeup so it's not quite so flat so the more textures and the more like different kind of elements that you can bring to it it really just helps step it up a little bit so and you always say that eye, sh eye what is it eyelash glue is your friend yes so I know you can probably get stuff that stick on. Is that something you're using to put glitter and jewels and different things on too a lot of times? Yeah, well generally yes. Uh, eyelash glue is a great thing to use um, because it does help stick on like a lot of gems. Um, you can do like, um, so like for hers, if we wanted to, if we wanted to even elevate it a little bit more, you could actually do like string and actually cut pieces of string and oh. go in here and you could glue like the pieces of string in through there and that would even give it more of a realistic kind of type look. Yeah. And you can use eyelash glue for that because eyelash glue after you can just take a little take bit of off. oil and just and just take it right off. That would really elevate it. Mm -hmm. And and then with the with the gems, um, they do have a sticky, but sometimes they don't always stick, and especially you know probably if your skin is more oily. Right. So yeah, so going in with a little bit of eyelash glue would help it like stick just a little bit harder, and to make sure that it didn't pop off, you know, during the rest of the night. So. We've got a few other images of some looks you've done before mm -hmm. too. So let's look at this uh, spider first. So that's one that a lot of people were doing. It was kind of a big deal, like the 3D kind of art. And yeah. so that was just one that, you know, I decided to try and, and the spider was kind of fun. So 
And that's um, a really good one too if you're masking right now. You know, you kind of get like yes. some sort of a makeup look yep. on the top, right? Yeah, actually. And I did that one last year because we were we were all wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And right. so, and that one was just done eyeshadow and eyeliner. Like, there's really just nothing else to that. Kind yeah. of an artist for that, though. Well, Some of us don't bit. know if we have that in us. Okay, let's look at the skeleton. And so this is one I did for um, one of my clients, and um, we've done a several different looks on her, but she was actually wearing a little black dress. So okay. if you did not want to like put and go into like wearing a whole huge costume, a little black dress and then doing like a skeleton face like this is a perfect way to like tie it all together. And you know, it can be elevated, like you can make it like really fancy if you right. wanted to, or you could, you know, dress it down. So would you put that um, glow in the dark? Yes, makeup if under you that? really wanted to okay. like make that one pop, yeah, you could totally do the glow in the dark makeup for that. Okay, and this next one is inspired by some claws ah yes okay so that one so that one we did as that one was actually kind of like a styled shoot but it kind of gives you like that wolf kind of effect mm -hmm. and we didn't have to do the whole entire face like all I did was around the eyes and it's really important to like you know if you focus on the eyes I mean you totally can get that that's a wolf kind of type feel right. to it and then also too if you're able to dress like, like the rest of you in kind of like a fuzzy material or anything to help do that and the claws I think um, he found those on like like eBay for like right. $5 a piece or something it wasn't I really like the idea of just doing like sort of that look of a mask yes with makeup though yes. because it's sort of an elevated look you could definitely be fancy in mm -hmm. that look like fancy fancy party yes. did you just draw them on just layer 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 yeah so I just used like an angle brush and literally just took different colors and again just built with like the dark first and then went through there and just did the dark and then put some brown in there and then put um, like some white again to kind of yeah. elevate it and give it that different kind of texture and depth to it and I mean that one you could totally wear a mask too mm -hmm. so if you needed to go to work and you just wanted to do just your eyes you could do that and then wear the mask on the bottom and Definitely. it would be okay. So any tips in the last couple seconds here for keeping your makeup nice through the night? Uh, definitely makeup spray you know put the sealer on that would be great that really helps a whole lot especially if you're sweaty and stuff like that that would be amazing so that's really the main thing is just to try to do that and just have fun be unique like use your yeah. imagination inevitably so. have a kid knocking to me but thank you guys so much yes. these are great great thank looks you. thank you